Go to your favorite browser and type in free mind all in word and you'll likely find the first link is this free software. Click on that link and go directly to freemind.sourceforge.net, that address right there, and look for the download link. On the download link, you will be reminded that you do need the Java Runtime Environment 1.4 or later in order to run this software. Java Runtime is a nice thing to have regardless of whether you install this software or not. If you're running Windows, it's a virtual necessity. Sometimes you don't already have it. If you're curious, you can just click on Do I Have Java when you go to that link, or download and install the latest version, which I already have. Once you've opened the program, installed it, and then opened it, your first mind map is pretty straightforward. Click on File, then New, simply click on the center space, and type whatever you want. In this case, we're going to do Mind Map. Mousing over or highlighting a node, right-clicking, you have several options. One is New Child Node and it simply creates a new child node. For example, project planning. Once I highlight over that, see how I can just mouse over and it highlights it, right click and go to new sibling node, it makes a node right next to that one in the same hierarchy. So for example, we could put business planning or highlight over it, right click, go to sibling node, and let's say for example I want to type contact planning. I have three nodes that are now children of the primary node. There are several things you can do that make this much more useful for mapping relationships. Let me show you an example of one that I've already created. Now this is my social media map and you'll see I have several Twitter accounts and different social media broken down by the different web interfaces and I have relationships which are these little node connectors right here that show the relationship between each one. I can color code these, I can color code these different sub nodes or different children nodes and this just kind of shows you what you can do with planning. Now you don't have to get something that messy looking but it's a nice tool to use to sort of lay out the structure of your thinking or the flow chart and it's a very straightforward and very simple tool to use. Like I said you can get started as easily as creating your node, right clicking and simply choosing new child node or new sibling node or a new previous sibling node. Pretty straightforward software, easy to use, and free.